Slice one is to become confident walking through the frame we're going to use to put the bottles into. We'll walk through and turn right each time to walk through again. And after four right hand turns, we halt with a click and treat for the halt. And of course you can do left hand turns as well. Slice two, introduce the squash plastic bottles. And we want to encourage curiosity always. Keep our energy relaxed and then we're going to toss one bottle in and slice three is to walk through the box with just one bottle. And it's easy for the horse not to step on it. And there's a destination mat beside the barrel. Click and treat for parking on the mat. She thinks I want her to target the bottles but click and treat is for feet on the mat. Slice four. Each time round, we toss in another bottle and walk a loop back to the mat for a click and treat. Now we've got three bottles. We could maybe also have bottles and a mat on the opposite side so that you can do right hand turns as well as left hand turns. So you're exercising both sides of the body, the horse's body and your body. And add one or more bottles at a time depending on the horse's responses. Watch for the first touch of a bottle which I've caught here on the still shot. Celebrate hugely. This is slice five and it's ideal to click and treat for this moment of first touch. Then proceed as before following the same pattern. Get to the mat, relax, click and treat, and then keep adding bottles at a rate that your horse finds comfortable. Each circuit earns a click and a treat at the mat. If the horse shows concern, step in and kill the bottles. The noise can be concerning. To get more comfortable with the noise, walk on them yourself. Do everything in both directions, both for yourself and for the horse's benefit. And give the horse time to be curious and make up his own mind that this is not dangerous. I'm adding a small walk-on signal here and she's willing to go with me. We stay with click and treat at the mat each time. We're going to repeat that to make it more fluid. You don't want to repeat too often. Approach from different directions is a whole new ball game. This is a new parameter, so allow lots of curiosity time again. Slow and right beats fast and wrong. You don't have to do all of this in one session, obviously. Now we'll click and treat each time across the bottles. Here we have another new direction. I've moved the mat away from where it was before. Click and treat each smooth passage over. Now we're going to halt with the back feet on the bottles. That's quite nice. Click and treat for the halt and walk on. And another new direction. Curiosity time again. The light will be different in each direction. So it looks different to the horse. Halt with the hind feet on the bottles in this direction. Click and treat. Halt all four feet on the bottles this time. Click and treat. And going to repeat all feet going in from this direction. Click and treat. Only the front feet on the bottles. Click and treat. She's looking more relaxed already. So do the floppy lip test to check relaxation. Only the front feet from this direction. 
click a treat.